Here you can see today I have made 11 dollars and 78 cents. Let me show you my application. Here you can see my application. I have monetized two games with AdMob. You can go on itch.io game website and search your mind growing multi quiz. Here is showing my game. You can click here. Now you can click here to download my game. You can also search your kill and earn game. Here is showing my another game. You can click here. Now you can click here to download my another game. I have made this earning game using GDevelop software. As you can see here, Google Ads is running on my game. When someone will click on this advertisement, then I will earn money. When people will from United States, United Kingdom, Canada, Germany, Australia, click on this advertisement, then I will earn high amount of money. I can earn $1 to $5 just by one click. In this video, I am going to share with you how to earn money from AdMob. Some of my subscribers are facing some problems with AdMob. Google Ads is not showing on his game. In this video, I am going to fix all that problems. Watch this full video without skipping. Guys, if you are new on my channel, then please subscribe our channel and like this video. And if you have any type of questions or opinions about the video, don't be shy and just leave a comment down below. Now let's get back to the video. First of all, you will have to download GDevelop application. You can go on Google Play Store and you can search your GDevelop. Here you can see GDevelop application. You can click here to download this GDevelop application. If you have laptop or computer, then you can go on GDevelop website. Now you can click here to download this software. After downloading and installing this software, you will then come to this page. You can click on Browse All Templates button. Here you can see there are a lot of gaming templates. You can use any of this template to make your own game. I'm going to use this template. You can click on open button. Now you can type your project name. You can click on create project button. Now I'm going to add your new scene. Click on this icon. Now click on add scene button. Type your scene name. Now click on this three dot. Click on move up button. Click here to open this scene. Now I'm going to add here a star text. First of all, I'm going to change its background color. Right click here. Now click on open scene properties button. You can click here. Now you can select any of this color. Now click on OK button. Click on add a new object button. Click on text button. Now type your object name. Type your start. Now change its size. Change its color. Now click on apply button. Drag this text here. Now I'm going to add code for this button. Click on events button. Now click on add a new event button. Click on add condition button. Select a start text. Now scroll down. Click on the cursor slash touch is on the object. Click on ok button. Now click on add action button. Select a start text. Select color option. Now select your color. You can select any of this color. Now click on ok button. When my cursor will be on a star text, then this text color will be changed. Right click here. Now click on copy button. Right click here. Now click on paste button. Right click on this code. Now click on invert condition button. Now I'm going to change its color. Double click here. Now click here. Select white color. Now click on OK button. When my cursor will not be on a star text, then a star text color will be white. Click on add a new event button. Click on add condition button. Click on other conditions button. Scroll down. Click here. Now select this option. Mouse button pressed or touch held. Now click here. Select left option. Now click on OK button. Click on add action button. Click on other actions button. Now click on scene. Select this option. Change the scene. Click here. Select game option. Now click on OK button. Drag this code here. Guys, when I will click on star text, then scene will be changed. Gaming scene will be open. Let me preview this game. Click on preview button. Yeah, here we go. As you can see here, all this coding is working well. When I'm moving this cursor on a star text, then this text color is changing. When I will click on this start button, then game will be start. As you can see here, you can play this game with your friends. Guys, as you can see here, when I have completed this game, then nothing is working. I'm going to add your reload button. Go on this game. Now click on add a new object button. Click on a sprite button. Now type your object name. Click on add an animation button. Click on create with p scale button. Now select this object. Change its color. 
now you can drag here now select this erase tool i'm going to erase here now select this pen tool guys you can make this kind of object now type your object name reload i'm going to duplicate this frame you can click here now i'm going to change its color select this tool you can select here any of this color now click here now click on save button now select this loop option click here to preview this animation change its frame rates you can select here 0.9 now click on ok button click on apply button drag this object here now i'm going to make a coding for this object go on gaming event you can click on add a new event button add a condition button click on reload button now select the cursor slash touch is on the object click on ok button click on add action button select this object you can select pause the animation option now click on ok button now i'm going to copy and paste this code right click here click on copy button now right click here click on paste button right click on this code click on invert condition button now double click here click on resuming the animation button click on ok button now click on add a new event button add condition other conditions click on mouse and touch click on mouse button pressed or touch held click here select left option click on ok button click on add action button click on other actions click here now click on change the scene button select your game scene now click on ok button now drag this event here guys make sure this event should be under this event let me preview this click on preview button i'm going to play this game when i will click on this object then game will be reload yeah here we go it's working well now the next step i'm going to monetize this game open chrome browser and search here admob now click here to open this first url guys admob is a google's product you can monetize your game and application with admob admob is a 100 percent trusted platform let me show you how much money you can earn from admob you can click on calculate button here you can see if you will get 50,000 monthly active users on your game then you can earn 1427 dollars per month admob network pay high amount of money to earn money first of all you will have to create account on this platform you you can click on sign up button click on sign up button it will then take you to this page first of all you will have to verify your account click on next button you will have to type here your password now click on next button select here your country now select here time zone here you can see terms and conditions about admob you will have to read and accept its terms and conditions now you can click on create admob account button you can select here yes option now click on continue to admob button guys first of all you will have to add payment information if you will not add payment information then you will not get approval from admob you will have to add payment information you can click on add payment info button it will then take you to this page you can type here your address city postcode and you can select here your estate and at last you can click on submit button once you will submit your payment information successfully then you will get approval from admob within 24 hours you can easily create account just by entering your email address and password guys it's very easy to create account on admob network once you will create successfully your account you will then come to this page here you can see my today's revenue i have made 11 dollars and 78 cents here you can see my yesterday earnings i made 8 dollars and 10 cents here you can see this month's earnings it's 29 dollars and here you can see its activity performance and here you can see my game guys you can also earn this amount of money every single day let me show you how can you monetize your game you can click on apps button now you can click on add app button select your android option now select your no option click on continue button type your game name you can go on GDevelop website now click on this icon click on properties button here you can see game name you can copy this game name now go on add mob and paste your game name now click on add app button 
click on done button. Now click on add add unit button. Guys here you can see ad formats. I have recently talked with my subscriber. They were added only rewarded ads on his game. That's why Google Ads is not running on his game. Guys you will have to add at least 3 types of ads on your game. This will help you to get more requests and more impressions. If you will add only rewarded ads on your game, then you will get low request. You will have to add 3 types of ads to get more requests. This will also help you to avoid limited ads problem. I'm going to add 4 types of ads on my game. Click on select button. Now type your unit name. Click on create add unit button. Here you can see app id. And here you can see banner add unit id. First of all I'm going to add this app id on my game. Click here to copy this app id. Now you can go on gdevelop. Click on this icon. Click on properties button. I scroll down. Here you can see app id option. You can paste your app id. Now click on apply button. Now I'm going to add here banner ads. Go on add mob and click here to copy this banner add unit id. Go on gdevelop. Click on start events button. Click on add a new event button. Click on add condition button. Type your at the beginning of the scene. Click on at the beginning of the scene. Now click on ok button. Click on add action button. Type your add mob. Click on configure the banner button. Now paste your banner unit id. Select here yours option. I want to show banner ads at the top of my game. Click on OK button. Click on add a new event button. Click on add action button. Search your add mob. Click on show banner button. Now click on OK button. Now I'm going to add your video ads. Go on add mob and click on done button. Now click on add add unit button. You can also select interstitial ads. I'm going to select rewarded ads. Click on select button. Now type your unit name. I scroll down. Click on create add unit button. Here is showing rewarded add unit id. Click here to copy this unit id. Go on gdevelop. Click on add action button. Search your add mob. Click on load rewarded video button. Now paste your video add unit id. Click on ok button. Click on add action button. Search your add mob. I scroll down. Click on show rewarded video button. Now click on ok button. Guys when I will click on a start button then video ads will be show and scene will be change. This banner ads will show automatically at the top of game. Now I'm going to add here interstitial ad. When I will click on this reload button then interstitial ad will be show. Go on add mob and click on done button. Now click on add add unit button. You can select any of these interstitial ads. Click on select button. Now type your add unit name. Click on create add unit button. Here is showing add unit id. Click here to copy this unit id. Now go on gdevelop and click on game events button. Click on add a new event button. Click on add condition button. Search here at the beginning of the scene. Click on add the beginning of the scene. Click on ok button. Now click on add action button. Search your add mob. Here you can see load rewarded interstitial option. Click here. Now paste your rewarded interstitial add unit id. Click on OK button. Now click on add action button. Search your add mob. I scroll down. Click on show rewarded interstitial button. Now click on OK button. When I will click on reload button, then rewarded interstitial ad will be show. Guys, it's very easy to monetize your game. After monetizing your game, you can click on share button. Now select mobile option. You can click here. Now click on create package for Android button. Now click on download button. Guys you will have to install and play this game on your android device. If you will click on this preview button, then here google ads will not show. Google ads will show only on android device. Here you can see I have just installed this game on my mobile device. As you can see here google ads is running on my game. When someone will click on this advertisement then I will earn money. When people will from united states, united kingdom, germany, australia play this game. Then they can see high paying advertisement. When that person will click on advertisement then I will earn high amount of money. As you can see your google admob has a very low competition. Use this method to earn money before getting late. After making your game you can publish your game on google play store, amazon app store, bbu app store, itcs.io game website and many more. Guys you can earn lots of money from google admob. Don't miss this opportunity to earn money.
If you want to learn more about Google and Mob, then watch this video right here. That's all for today. Please subscribe our channel and like this video. And also, please share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in next video.